Hey, oh, it's Bonus Status. How's it going, guys? Today on This Is So My New Main, we're going to be looking at Vi, the Piltover Enforcer. We're going to be looking at who she is, what she does, how to build her, how to play her. We'll learn how to solve problems with violence and punching. Remember, there are two kinds of problems in this world. Issues can be fixed with punching and those that cannot. A little about the champ. Vi is classified as a fighter slayer. She is a melee champion who is primarily used for jungling, though she can play top lane. She is more along the lines of a diver considering her Q and ultimate ability. With only one or two damage items on her, she is a mean bruiser and lethal duelist. Vi is an all-around player. She has great jungle clear, scary good crowd control, she melts, squishies, and destroys tanks. And like Sona, she has an awesome hair color, pink hair. Mmm, love me that pink hair. If that alone doesn't sell her, then I don't know what will. Vi's lore. So she never knew her parents and grew up as an orphan in Zahn. So she comes from the same place as Zack, Urgot, and Warwick. She never knew her real name, but tattooed on her cheek was the symbol Vi. Everyone called her Vi and it stuck. Side note from me. Vi could be referencing six with Roman numerals because apparently the Romans lived in and influenced the world history of League of Legends, however that might have happened, or it's just her name. Seeing as Wright has never encouraged or pointed to or linked the number six with her in any way, it's honestly just her name. Come on, the lady does not have a middle or last name. Just keep it simple, people. Okay. Back to the lore. Vi was part of many different gangs growing up and had a love for getting into fights and using her fists to settle any and all of the problems life presented to her. Later in life, when one job went wrong and many innocent people were going to die, she used a mining golem's power gauntlets to break through solid rock and save the bystanders. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, just, just one more quick note for me. Now this is the part where Riot waved their magical lore wand and just made shit happen. I promise that was the last time. Okay, back to the lore. One day, Vi disappears from her life of violence and crime, and after an undisclosed time, reappears as a sidekick of the Sheriff of Piltover, Caitlin. So, now she fights for good, and is equipped with a new pair of Hextech gauntlets to help her punch her way to the right side of the law. For Vi skins, we have Fear Me, I Am Vi, and I Have Huge Hands, normal Vi skin. We have futuristic, yet still 80s Neon Strike Vi. We have There's Always Time for a Pink Frosted Donut Officer Vi. We have Looking Mighty Fancy, and How Did She Ever Manage to Roll Up Her Sleeves, Debonera Vi. And lastly, we have probably one of her cooler skins, Hellboy, or what we will call 666, Hell Girl, Demon Girl Vi. Abilities. Hang with me, guys. We'll keep this booty face punching train moving quickly. Passive Blast Shield. After an activatable ability, she gains a temporary shield for 10% of her maximum health for 3 seconds. Q, Vault Breaker. This is a two-part skill. Part 1, the channel. She is slowed while increasing the range, damage, and speed of the skill. Part 2, the cast. She dashes in the target direction, dealing damage, and applying a knock-up to the target. W, Denting Blows. This is a purely passive ability that once leveled is always on. With every third attack, procs for 4 seconds a new passive that ignores 20% armor and does additional damage. E, Excessive Force. She stores two passive charges, and when used, does a cone-shaped area of effect that afflicts all targets with AD damage. R, Assault and Battery. Vi locks on and follows the target for a short-lived animation, Stun and Knock-Up, which cannot be cancelled or negated. When traveling to the target champion, she knocks aside any champions in her way. Ability Tree. For what skills to take on Vi, I have tried all of three of her abilities for a first start. I found that starting with her W was the strongest. Take her E next, as you can clear jungle faster, and lastly her Q. So max her Q first, then her E, and lastly her W. For summoner spells, take Smite and Flash. I will talk more about Flash, but you can do some really fun and nasty things in pairing her Q with Flash. Items. For Vi's item build, there's many different builds for her as there are people who love to hate Teemo. So this is the most common jungle build for her. Stalker's Blade with Warrior Enhancement, Mercury's Treads, Trinity Force, Dead Man's Plate, Steric's Gage, Guardian Angel. Now what I build on her is... Stalker's Blade with Warrior Enhancement, Boots of Swiftness, Trinity Force, Dead Man's Plate, ZZ Rock Portal, Titanic Hydra. I have fun with these items on her, but really all she needs is Trinity Force and then tank items. Her passive gives her a shield based on her health, so more health she builds, the bigger the shield. So it's easy to switch out the build from there. Need more armor or magic resist? Just pick your flavor. If you are fed or you just want to have fun, get the Titanic Hydra for a stupid amount of crowd control. I get the boots of swiftness as they counter the self slow from the Q. It also gives her a huge map presence when stacked with Dead Man's Plate. So there you go. Have fun building on her. How to play Vi. Okay, so now we know all about her, but how do we actually play Vi? Now this video will focus on how to jungle with her and not top lane. For the best jungle clear, make sure to properly use her passive and the cone of damage with her E.
For a detailed breakdown, buy Hunter's Machete and Refillable Potion and start at Red Buff. It will give you level 2 so you can take your E. Go to the Krog Camp next. Kill the little one first as you'll be able to remove him faster and reduce the amount of damage taken. Use your E right away as it will pop your passive for his shield. When he spawns his baby Krog, ignore them for now. Attack Papa Krog until you have your next stack of E. Position yourself so it kills the little Krogs when used. Save one stack of your E and ignore the little crags each time they pop out. Properly done, you'll be able to clear all four with one E, and with only one health bot used, we'll send you to blue with only 100 health missing. Use the blast cone flower to hop over to blue. Your smite will be up. Use it to finish him off. You are now free to gank with a double buff and a filled health bar. For ganks, her Q is an amazing initiation tool. Just keep in mind that you do have a self-slow as you wind up. Though if you come in from behind on a champion, they have the choice to run towards you, which makes it easier to hit them, or run away from you, which makes it easier for your teammate. So they're kind of screwed either way. Though if they are hard to hit, or to really surprise them, when your Q is fully charged, you can flash toward them and then hit them with your Q. It's quite a nasty little trick. You can actually flash mid-Q if your timing is right, so really mess with them by changing the direction of it. It's surprising how fun it is when you ruin another player's day when you Q flash them. When Vi hits level 6 is when you can really let the pain flow. She can go on quite the ride as people will try to flash or thresh lantern or lease and kick their way to safety. Nope. Once you click your R in them, it cannot be stopped. It literally cannot be stopped, short of death. So godlike ganks can be achieved on even the slipperiest of players. Ult them for a knock-up and a momentary stun, then quickly cue them for a slow. Your laner should be able to catch up with you by this time for help securing the kill. For team fights, ult the backliners, as every champion you hit on your ride to Murder Town will be knocked aside and will suffer a very short-lived period of immobility for the length of the animation. Okay, so now we know how to play Vi, but now for some tips and tricks on her. You can auto-attack, then use your E to instantly reset her auto-attack time, skipping her normal attack speed delay. When fighting, to get the maximum out of her W, you have to hit the same opponent three times. Q on the opponent, which counts as your first stack, auto-attack for a second stack, E for an instant reset, giving the third stack, which will then give additional damage and armor reduction and attack speed. You can use her E while hitting a tower to kill off any nearby minions. It will not do extra damage to the tower, but will help with wave clear. Her Q followed by her E does amazing wave clear. I know this one's kind of simple, but you would be surprised how fast she knocks off little guys. In Season 7, Talon gained the ability to jump over walls. whoop de f do Vi has been able to do that from day one. So use her Q to jump over walls. Use it to flee from danger or chase for a kill, counter jungle, or just have fun moving through solid objects. This should have probably been mentioned earlier, but take Courage of the Colossus on her. Her ultimate and Q both count as a knockup, so each will give her a shield. So not only does she get her passive shield, but she also gets a shield from Colossus. And she's pretty OP with him, just saying she does not die. Late game recap. I had so much fun playing Vi. I had not spent much time playing her before I did this video, but she's definitely a new favorite. She can tank, initiate, 1v1 fight, break tanks, murder squishies, she does slows, she peels, she stuns, and she's an all-around amazing champion. Oh yeah, and she's got pink hair. <clears throat> Still can't get over that. It's hot. Alright guys, just, just let it be. Alright, so when you hit the late game with her, you ha you'll have backliners running from you, frontliners scared, and be able to team fight like a boss. I don't know how to get you to understand how much fun she is, but dang, she's just awesome. So, I never knew punching my life's problems in the face could be so damn entertaining. So if you enjoy being an S-plus jungler that can carry your team, then Vi is a champion for you. Okay guys, this was my, this is so my new main and Vi. If you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any thoughts or comments, go ahead and post those below. Also guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button. There's more great content coming, and there's more build videos to come. Like normal, here's the highlights as plain as Vi, and until next time, good luck, have fun. I got two tops, so how to do this. Alright, get ready. Here we go. And we got it. That was beautiful. That was amazing. Ow. Oh, Poppy live. Oh. Oh, there's oh, Caitlyn. I'm gonna ult her. Oh my gosh. That was a fun ride. Good job. Double kill. I dropped my ward at the beginning of the fight with Talon. I lived. Huh, wonder what the difference is.
I know, they're coming for you. Oh. Oh, shit. I mean, I could... I can't see. I'm dead. Oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, snap. Okay. Hey. But, no, this is where I die. Oh, oh, run, run, run! Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Ah. Turn around, come here, come here. Yeah, I'm coming. No, no, no. Avoid the ball. Oh my gosh, there you go. Pro plays. Pro plays. What was up with Graves starting Dragon that early? Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Think I can do this? Think I can do this? Farm. Ready? I'm gonna go. Here we I'm gonna go. Here we go. Yeah, I like that. Oh! No! <laughs> that was really bad. Can you help me push him in? Yeah, sure. He's back for more. <laughs> ah, there's a new deer. Ah, there's a new deer. Run. I know. I got nothing. Oh got crap, him. good job. Ah, There's a dude here. No, 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 and then. Oh. Ah, no, 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 back, 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 back. Ah, shoot. Then, oh, wow. there. there's so many. There's everyone. Holy shit. Nice. Then, we get a kill. Oh, you oh, dumb dumb. Nice. Oh, you don't f up! Yes! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was so <laughs> Oh.